going. Listen. Episode 1. Socrates and the Profound Teaching. In ancient Athens, there was a time when people admired Socrates for his wise and enlightening teachings. One day, a young man approached Socrates, deeply troubled by his own knowledge and beliefs. The young man said, Socrates, even though I see many knowledgeable individuals, I still lack certainty about myself and what to believe. Socrates smiled gently and looked at the young man. He replied, My dear friend, having knowledge is important, but understanding your relationship with yourself is even more crucial. We must always explore and learn about ourselves to truly know who we are. With that, Socrates picked up a small stone and led the young man to the water's edge. He threw the stone into the water, and as it sank, it created ripples. Have you ever witnessed a stone sinking into the water? Socrates asked. The young man nodded and said, Yes, it sinks into the water. Socrates tossed the stone again and said, Yet, with the motion of the water, the stone rises back up. Curious, the young man inquired. Why does that happen? Socrates calmly responded. Water is always in motion, constantly changing. The stone resurfaces because of the water's force and transformation. Similarly, our knowledge and beliefs are always evolving and developing. Then, Socrates shared his wisdom with the young man. Therefore, do not become too rigid in your understanding of knowledge. Instead, explore and embrace the changes that come with learning and personal growth. Understanding yourself and your journey is far more important. Going. Episode 2 Socrates and the Meaning of Good Deeds On a hot summer day, Socrates wandered through the city, meeting people who sought wisdom and endeavored to perform good deeds. One day, an elderly man approached him. With a proud smile, the old man said, Socrates, I have lived many years in this city, striving to lead a life of virtue and good deeds. However, I am uncertain about the impact of my actions. Socrates looked at the old man with respect and replied, We may never fully comprehend the magnitude of our influence in this world, but regardless of the outcomes, the pursuit of good deeds is of utmost importance. We must always strive for it. The old man seemed disappointed, and said, I see. Yet, sometimes my actions feel meaningless. Socrates responded with warmth. It is essential to give our best in every moment. Good deeds hold significance no matter the circumstances, even if not recognized. Such actions bring positive change to ourselves and others. Moved by Socrates' words, tears welled up in the old man's eyes. He said, Socrates, your words resonate deep within my heart. I will continue to live a life of good deeds. Socrates gently patted the old man's shoulder and said, as you persist in performing good deeds, you will find yourself touching the lives of more and more people. Your efforts hold great value. The old man expressed gratitude for Socrates' teachings and found solace in his comforting embrace. From then on, the old man embraced more people with love and kindness positively influencing their lives. Going. Episode 3 Socrates and the True Value of Knowledge In ancient Athens, 
There lived a great philosopher named Socrates. He was renowned for his wisdom and unique teaching methods. One day, a young man approached Socrates, seeking to gain knowledge and become wise. The young man said, Socrates, I wish to become as wise as you. Teach me everything you know. Socrates looked at the eager youth with a warm smile and replied, My dear friend, knowledge is not simply a matter of pouring information into an empty vessel. Let me show you the true value of wisdom. Instead of answering the young man's question directly, Socrates led him towards a nearby river. The water was calm and serene. Then, unexpectedly, Socrates grabbed the young man's hand and plunged him into the water, holding him down under the surface. The youth struggled and gasped for air, desperate to break free. After what seemed like an eternity, Socrates finally released him. Coughing and catching his breath, the young man was visibly shaken. What was that? Why did you do that? The young man demanded. Socrates calmly replied. When you were underwater, what did you desire the most? The young man replied. Air, I desperately wanted to breathe. Socrates nodded and said. That, my dear friend, is the true value of knowledge. When you desire wisdom as much as you desired air underwater, only then will you truly seek and appreciate knowledge. This profound experience left a lasting impression on the young man. He realized that true wisdom was not about merely accumulating information, but about the intense thirst for knowledge and the constant pursuit of truth. From that day forward, the young man became Socrates' devoted disciple, dedicating himself to learning and self-exploration. He learned that true wisdom was not confined to the words of a teacher, but came from within, driven by a passion for understanding the world and oneself.